Kayla, please like and subscribe. It's time for Caleb's choice. His choice is rules. All right, so Josh was at summer camp this week. Um, did you guys ever go to summer camp? And if you did, what was your favorite activity there? Hmm. So I've been to summer camp. It was for church. Did you know? yeah. Young women's summer camp, and I hated every minute of it. Uh -oh. I wanted to. <laughs> Uh -oh. like, first you? Off, don't make me share my thoughts in a whole big ass circle of a lot of people like that's weird don't make me do that yes, um I and they were just i don't know it just wasn't my thing it wasn't it was not uh, my, it wasn't for me i wouldn't i never went back i went one time and that was it for summer camp hmm. gotcha. how old were you then I feel was this like, like a teenage like thing? 12 or 13. Maybe I was. No, I was like around <laughs> 13, I think. Yeah. Meg. Yeah, oh, so hey, bird. I don't know what my favorite memory from camp is. Um, I, I I don't think I ever went to a summer camp that you weren't at, Caleb. So, And usually one or two of our other friends were there. So it was fun just to hang out with friends. But I don't know. We... I don't really know that I have a favorite memory swimming. Maybe that one of the camps we went to had an awesome water slide. That was fun. Mission Impossible. Oh, that would be fun. Oh yeah. We used to play Mission sure. Impossible with flashlights. No, that was to break somebody's bones. Somebody yeah. was going to break something in that game. Luckily it was never yeah. me. Hmm. But yeah, that was, that was good times. Greg, did you ever go to camp? Yeah. Probably the same one you guys did. Oh, camp Jersey. Uh, no, did you guys I not go to that one. We did, but we did another one too. I was a counselor. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I, I don't know. I like the, yeah, the thing with the flashlight at dark, but my favorite thing was just always fishing at the pond there. Hmm. What? Yeah. Mine was the horses. I mean, I enjoyed riding horses. Oh, I forgot they had horseback riding at that yeah. camp. Or, that was probably oh, my pup, favorite thing too. Pup, they were right, Caleb. Pup, pup, yeah. Yeah, pup, pup, golf. I used to slam those things into the field, though. <laughs> yeah, so funny story, Greg, is yeah. this last week I was there, one of the kids decided they were going to try to slam the golf ball over the, uh, I don't know, the cafeteria. And from Ooh, 20 yards yeah. away, That's all. Oh, 20 yards away, hit the that. counselor in the side of the head with the golf ball, <gasps> and he ended up getting a brain bleed. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that oh. kid got kicked out of camp. So This was this that past weekend? Monday. Yeah, yeah. Dang. Oh, crap. Yeah, I one kid one kid sprained an ankle, one kid broke his leg. Um, oh wow. That's a lot for your little camp. I've sprained both my arms yeah. there before. You doing a cartwheel? I'm not gonna even ask you what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I was jumping over the railing and I had sandals on. Jeez. And I caught my sandals on the railing and I landed with my hands down. <laughs> I would have laughed if I was there. We need an I intermission. Know you I okay. totally forgot to do several intermissions. All right, here we go. All right. First question that we ask during Family Feed Space on Friday. The first person who gets it wins. Okay. If you're obsessed with yourself, name a place you would keep your picture. Not shark. Not, not shark. shark. Meg. Meg's answer is always going to be shark. It's not it's shark. It's going to be shark, and he's never going to win this week. No. Nope. Never going to be shark. Shark wasn't Shark's on the board at shark. all. Read the question again, Holly. If you're obsessed with yourself, name a place you would keep your picture. Dashboard is number five. Oh. Yeah. All right. So Just we'll so watch the, the comments. Not koala bear. No, not <laughs> koala bear. Sorry, seven. Uh -oh. That was... <laughs> That's super weird that... Um, you would put your picture, your own picture on your car dashboard. There you That's, go. That is obsessed. Your desk is number three. Your phone, oddly enough, is number six. Your wallet's number two. Oh, the blockchain. That's a good one, Rudy. That's, that is a good one. That is a good one. Nobody has gotten it still. That was the ceiling. 
The mantle, that's a good one too. Yeah, the mantle. Well, we'll keep checking back while we while we run through these other questions, but all right. Well, <clears> seven <throat> got it. With uh -oh. Your home oh. slash living room slash over my bed. Seven <laughs> got it. Good job, seven. Back yep. seven right. eyelids. <laughs> Question two. Pick one song to be your ringtone for the rest of your life. It's already on my phone, but I'm not going to play it for copyright reasons. Uh, but it is House of Pain, oh. Jump Around. Mm. Yeah, Mainly be because yours. it's so annoying, yours. it actually wakes me up. Damn, that's a hard one, Caleb. I don't know, because my ringtone right now is just a ring. Like, that's it mine. just mine's rings. Old, um, yeah. I'm trying to think mm. of, like, any song. I figured it'd be Beatles song for you, Holly. Gosh. Well, which one? Because I feel like Let It Be would just be too, like, quiet. It wouldn't, like, be a, uh. Would you want the... Oh, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. He is, like, latched onto my earring. <laughs> <laughs> would you want an instrumental only, or would you like the... the, the oh, the that would too? be a good... Here comes the sun instrumental only would be probably mine for sure. Gotcha. That's a very peaceful song. I love that song. Love it. I actually was going to wear my shirt that says Here Comes the Sun today. <laughs> the sun comes out every day and where you live this time of year, it feels like, though. Yeah, and actually not around like around this time for real because it's monsoon season. And so we do have, um, we get storms overnight that last kind of to the morning and then the sun comes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mine was jump around. Oh yeah, I'm a Greg. <laughs> hmm. Man, that's that's tough. It's that's a hard one. one. This one is a hard one. Man, a go to though. I would probably say before I forget by Slipknot. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with the Night Rider theme song. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Ooh, that's a good Rider. one. That's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, Last one. Name the top five healthiest foods. So uh, what I you sent this to me, I'm guessing you know what they are. Yeah, I wrote them down just in case. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I got my trusty piece of paper out over here. I'm gonna guess broccoli. Is that one of them? It's number two. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I got nothing. Why can't I was singing like salad? Shark. Brussels sprouts. On there. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. On there? Oh, avocado is a good one, Maria. Beets is number three. Oh, gross. Beets. Beets. That is gross. I've never had beets actually. I have. I'm not. I'm not but a I just fan, don't. But... I don't think I like them, so I'm not going to try them. Spinach. I, don't think I like them. Spinach is number four. Wow. Mm, I love spinach. Chicken, probably not, huh? Not on there. Not on top it, five. Like none of any meats or any one meat fish. On, fish. Fish is number one. Yeah. Oh, fish. fish. You know, I in all honesty, I don't. I don't eat fish. I don't like. Like, I think I got one off of your top five list, and that's broccoli. I actually like broccoli, but everything else is a no go. Um, I wish that's the one thing I wish I did eat was fish, because yeah. it's so good for you on a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. I just cannot get past the texture, the taste. I hate fish in real life. Like I don't like the way they look. Uh, there's nothing. I just so pretty much everything about fish you hate. <laughs> yeah. They're I in wish, the water. I wish I didn't. Beady but little I eyes. <laughs> yeah. Now you would hate oh. my wife's uh, birthday lunch on Friday. I well, took Mrs. Fish Josh. Fish? It was some hole in the wall place that was seafood, but we got a basket that we shared and we had alligator. Oh my gosh. Um <laughs> shrimp, fish, and crab cakes, because she likes crab cakes. What and then mercury? one of the things they served with it was cornbread and it has cheese on top with jalapenos in it. It was the best cornbread ever. Okay, cornbread mm. I would have liked because yeah. I love jalapeno cornbread. Or green chili and cheese cornbread. Holy crap. <laughs> Did we no. get number five, Caleb? No. It's a Is it vegetable. carrots? No. Green veggie. Vegetable. Green beans? No. 
Hmm. It's very close to spinach. Cabbage? It's kale. Was it it's kale? kale? Oh, Somebody kale. guessed it in the comments. Did they guess kale? Somebody they did. did. Yeah. Um, Rudy did. Okay. Rudy's all right. I don't care how good kale is for you. I'm never eating it. It tastes like dirt I, along with spinach. And spinach, if, even if there's like a tiny what? bit of spinach, I can taste it. And it mm -hmm. makes my mouth yeah. dirt. It's got a good, it's got a stout flavor. Yeah. Kale is nasty though. I don't like this question because I don't have any up there that are actually healthy. You got, you got number two. You got broccoli. broccoli. There you go. All right, Holly, you ready for your question? Because this, I yeah. think this may be the best one you've ever asked us. Uh -oh. Upside down pineapple. What would your 10-year-old self think of who you are today or right now? Mm. What do you think? You're, you, you answer first, Holly, since this is your question. I think my 10-year-old self would be a little shocked because I was a little shit back when I was 10 years old. <laughs> and I think she would be like, who is this lady? I don't know her. Why is she nice? What is happening? Why, yeah. why is she nice? <laughs> why is she nice? This isn't wow. normal. I why mean, she... my my sister and my brother can both contest to that. I was a little hell, like hellion when I was up until my 20s. <laughs> I Back can't today? even say no. like only I, at 10. I no, can see I, that. I saw those pictures last week. I'm telling yeah. you. Mm -hmm. I think first off, my 10-year-old self will be disappointed in me because I'm not the starting third baseman of the Kansas City Royals, or I never mm. was the starting third baseman of the Kansas City Royals, because I'd be retired by now. But but I think all in all, 10-year-old me would be like, wow, I can't believe that we went through so much stuff and we actually made it through it. Like, yeah. Because when you're 10, like the world just seems so easy and everything's happy and you know what I mean? And just to see if they saw the entire journey, I think that they'd be okay with it. I think they'd be all right. If not, I'll smack my 10-year-old self because he was a little dude. <laughs> yeah, smack him. That's right. I don't care what you think. I would say the same thing. If you could see the whole journey, you'd be surprised of all the stuff that I was got to do. Fun, fun good things and bad things. But, yeah, be just surprised. At James said, Din disappointed I don't set fires anymore. <laughs> well, I still set fires. <laughs> That's good. Good thing. Fires. Said fires. Yeah, Only he, you can prevent forest fires. He's all about fires. <laughs> I like fire. Fire. Greg, what about, about you? Greg? Uh, my 10-year-old self would think I was a badass because all my Comic-Con stuff, all my knickknacks, all my toys. Oh, yeah. I bet yours would think you're cool. Yeah. They just they just want to play with all the toys. Yeah. I thought maybe... But he question. What's that? I was just going to say, I thought maybe he thought... He'd be disappointed because you didn't know karate. Well, maybe <laughs> he'd be disappointed because I'm not an astronaut. Yeah, oh. but I'd have to tell him, you know, it's not real. Dunk. <laughs> <laughs>